Hi guys, hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're going to learn the best way to send your music for mixing to the mix engineer. I'm making this tutorial because many people send me their music for mixing in a wrong way. So first of all, open up your project in Logic Pro X. It doesn't matter if you have audio files or the MIDI files. I have both files in this example. The blue ones are the audio files and the green ones are the MIDI files. So first of all, we're going to go to the mixer, uh, view tab and then show mixer. Make sure that all of the tracks are at zero level. Your engineer is going to adjust the level in the mixing, okay? So I'm going to put the volume of all the tracks on zero level now. After we are done with this first step, we're going to uh, turn off or bypass all the effect plugins. That includes the inserts and the sends. Turn off all the EQs, the compressors, And obviously all the uh, these sends as well, the buses, bus 1 and bus 4 over here and bus 2 and bus 1. By the way, if you don't know how to bypass all the plugins at once in Logic Pro X, then I have one minute simple tutorial on that. You can check that out. During this process, make sure that you don't turn off the VST plugins. So, we are done with this thing. Now we are going to hide the mixer again. We'll go to View tab and Hide Mixer. The next very important thing is to set up the markers. Okay, so they are going to determine the length of every track so the first marker means the starting point of every track should be set from here and then the end point of your tracks we're going to set it from here the end marker okay it's quite long right now we're going to bring it back Okay, so we are all done for exporting our files. We'll go to the file menu and then export and then all tracks as audio files. We'll choose desktop as location for now and trim silence at file end and wave. I prefer wave always. You can choose any other one and bit bit depth is 24 it's fine for me now normalize i'll choose overhead protection only i'll prefer this one i like to make a folder with the name of tutorial to save these files logic is automatically going to assign names as their previous ones if you want to add something in their name you can for now i'll go with this word YouTube and click export. Okay, so while it's exporting, let's just wait. And when it's done, it's going to normalize all the files one by one because I chose the normalize option. Okay, so it's done now. Now we're going to go to the folder where the files have been exported let's jump to that okay so here is a folder we created with the name tutorial so in it we have all the files and now we are going to take them for mixing maybe in a flash drive but if you need to send them online then you need to 
do one thing and that is compressing them. Okay, so go to the folder you created, right click on it and click on compress tutorial. It is going to make a ZIP zip file. Let's just wait until it's compressed. All right, so it's done. Here is the zip file. Let's check the size. So it's 3 to 1.5 MB. Now we can send this file online, maybe in email or through vTransfer or any mean you want to send. So that's all, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have learned something, please like the video and consider subscribing to my channel. Peace.